So there's something in Power World that's gonna take these cute little lovable creatures and make them stronger than a nuke. Your tech tree has the Pal Essence Condenser in it, where by sacrificing the souls of others, you can make them stronger. But I'm just one level away from a breeding farm. And I've been told something very interesting can happen with the right participants. First things first though, I need to go bird hunting. Hello, Mr. Nightwing. Sorry about the shooting you in your face thing. I actually wanna be friends, if you can believe it or not. Here, be my friend forever. Stay, stay. Good bird. Also, <laughs> there's something else I've discovered here that if you just hop on the sphere of a pal you're about to catch, you kinda go sky high. You know, that bad superhero movie. You can see so much from up here. For instance, I found a new little egg and some upgrade points. Oh, more devil fruits. Come here, friends. Catching that guy let me level up, so now I can unlock that breeding farm. Well, as large toolbox. Improve handiwork efficiency of pals. Give me that. And I also need this Nightwing saddle. Tell you what, might as well get the deer saddle and the submachine gun too. Honey, I'm home. Maybe I shouldn't use that saying when it's all pals. Or maybe I should. All right, for the Nightwing saddle, a little more pallium fragments, a little more ingots. Good thing last time I was big brain and set up a little iron farm base that apparently hasn't got me any iron. Fine, I'll just mine it the old fashioned way. The scrappling gun might be one of the best utilities in Power World 2. I'm kind of over encumbered right now. Can't sprint, can't do anything, but I can still move at a normal speed. I'm stuck Bruh. just gyrating on this handiwork table, huh? I felt like I could get something getting handy. What, a herd of violent wild pals? No, I'm doing something right now. Cook these ingots. Stop it. Actually, wait, I want to catch that guy again. Incineram's kind of really nice to just have on the team. Not to mention, he just looks cool. Stay in the sphere. Stay in the sphere. Stay. There we go. All right, one Nightwing saddle coming right up. Lunaris actually has a really high handiwork ability, but look at how fast she's going on this. I'm so glad I decided to incubate those five eggs when I wasn't recording. Cinemoth was born. Dude, new friend after new friend. This is awesome. Hey, Nightwing saddle's complete. Give me that. Welcome to the team, buddy. Because now I can fly. Kind of decently fast, too. Wow, Nightwing, I love you. One thing I've noticed is that the pals in this starting area suck. So I'm going to do the age-old tactic of running ahead to where I'll ultimately hate myself for being underleveled. But right now, though, not a problem. Because I think one of the new friends that I want is over here. I've got a couple spheres with their name on it. Alright, I don't have much time. I'm burning alive, but this dig toys is who I need. Relax Relaxosaurus, beat him up. That's, no, that's the legendary move that I want him to use. 10% chance? Can I? Wait, wait. No way. I win these. I might be able to get another one in time. Hang on. Game, you got one more dig toys hanging around. Whoa, statue. Oh, Anubis? Like the god, look at how cool this guy is. Look at this walk, this unbothered walk. Well, I'm bothered by heat stroke and the fact that he looks like he could kill me with a thought. So, chill at, punch this dig toys. I feel like this is going good, 35%. That's actually nope. not bad. Well, try again. Stay nope. in the, stay in the sphere. Nope. Stay in the legally distinct sphere. So, whoa! Who just shot a shotgun at me? Oh, is that other dig toys over there? Hey, buddy, you're clipped in the wall. Not my problem. Well, after a long journey home, we can look and see these guys have a level three mining. Just a crucial step in my plan. Ooh, another flame down. Now, this breeding farm needs a lot of wood, stone, and fiber. The condenser needs a lot of ingots. I'll also need a ranch and a couple of other Pokemon. And by Pokemon, of course, I mean legally distinct pals. So I think I'll need to come into the bamboo area. Actually, this cow, you're one of the things I need, buddy. Lunaris, do that thing you do. If you don't, yep, that was good. All right, well, don't don't kill him. I, we need this guy. Stay, wait, did I just hit a 7% over there? Lucky me. Stop it. I think I only need one cow, but I'm addicted to catching these things. It's in my nature. <laughs> Double cows have been caught. That milk item is exactly what I need to do a little bit of selective breeding. Huh? A sentence I should not say out loud. Bruh. And I also got an upgrade ability. More weight. Did I get anything new in the tech tree? Oh, Gigasphere. Weapons workbench, flame cauldron, all things that are gonna make my life great also means I can make a gun. Ooh, large electric egg, give me that. Always better dudes in the larger eggs. And let's face it, electric legally distinct pals are always cool. You know, I was just flying around and I just think I found one of the best base spots ever. There's so many iron ores here and then a big open flat piece of land. Oh, just mark that. And I think I'm gonna move my iron operation over here. So I'll see you in like 15 minutes. Right. Minutes later. Yeah, it turns out the grappling gun really is just absolutely amazing. You can reset the cooldown by just quickly putting it back in your inventory and then back into your slot. So I just moved a crap ton of resources over. All very good to just build everything on up. Now base will always need someone to garden, someone to water. I want these two dig toys to start mining. 
hopefully pretty efficiently. Oh yeah, I can also make this new weapon workbench. Infinite iron, infinite guns, what's not to love? Ah, screw it. Let's just move my whole base. I weigh 5,000 pounds, which I merely say, no, I don't. Really, buddy? We're walking. Come on. People are trying to build stuff. Get a wheat plantation down. I think by default, you just need two hot springs in your base too when stuff gets big. And for my other base upgrades, the game really wants me to make a mill, the wheat plantation, and then it needs one of these cooking pots. How you guys doing also? Gaining me a decent amount. What are we at? Oh, 107 in here. That's, that's yeah, that's amount i'd say okay. and now i can upgrade my pal box which just wants me to build a weapons workbench so second upgrade build fluffy pal bed when do i unlock that level 24 all right got some upgrading to do i'll admit it well let's go ahead get this ranch down from my breeding facility because the cake's gonna take flour milk eggs and honey along with some red berries i've got my wheat growing which will be my flour my eggs and milk from my helpful little pals here whenever you're ready i'm holding a cow with one hand this is a really impressive of feet. Go! Fixed his assignment to the ranch. And you too, Chickapee, stay in the ranch. So that'll cover everything except for the honey. But luckily, I know how to get some. What I need to do now is make two big old furnaces, as well as the rest of my finishing touches. Oh, hey, this egg's done. Large electric egg, what do you have in store for me, Rayhound? He seems pretty cool. Floating pen king. All right, goodbye, starter base. And hello, new base made for breeding. Huh? That, again, does not sound right. Let's Let's see, I can make 84 ingots over here. We'll drop one to 44 and then just max the other. So now when I make a cake, I can put it in here, combining a male and female Pokemon and I'll get some little egg. Then I can put in a request for this big old essence converter to make my mon stronger too. Cause take Leaf Monk for instance, all my souls can be put in to make him just stronger by star stats. But breeding lets you transfer abilities. So say I had one with a runner stat, muscle head for more attack damage, and then something like burly body for 20% defense. <laughs> I'd have a very strong pal capable of killing God now, wouldn't I? So I'm back at the starting area. I'm gonna let my base run for a bit, gather up a bunch of stuff. And until then, I'll be going on a genocide. Have a fun little montage. back after a bit and I've made my deer saddle because with the materials that I had left over I was actually able to start making this cake it's uh just been cooking for like 15 minutes it's okay though I think we're ready for our next plan which involves this nice little deer and me being just like this my deer has a fun ability where I can just crash into him and it kind of just stuns him letting me immediately get a better chance at catching these stupid little squirrels no 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 need to run all of us are hanging out dang it now stay in the ball oh artisan I think that's a great ability well, so it's like this, kick them in their back, shoot them, throw a ball. That usually gets me good odds. One quick catching montage later, and now I got a whole little box full. It looks like this cake's finished up too, so let's snag that. I just need to put this in the breeding pen. And now I wanna find the best one of these little hyper squirrels. Female leaf monk with muscle head for 30% attack, 20% move speed, and then male leaf monk with burly body, 20% defense. I think what I need to do is make sure they're dropped into the base and I can just football chuck them on in. Get in there, tiny little squirrel. How is love blossoming when he can't even figure out how to get in here? Ah, whatever. Now I just need to wait for Mother Nature to come deliver me that egg. Bruh. Now that I think about it, I still need to make the submachine gun attachment. Whoopsies. Oh, hey, big guy. We can do it together with that crafted and done. I can just grab any old leaf monk. And pretty much what this means is that I get free machine gun. It has a recharge time, of course. But I know you saw that 83 damage. And that's before all the genetic modifications. Oh, yeah. It's also only level nine. Oh, they laid me an egg. Gimme. Put you in there. Incubation speed is a little cold. We can fix that. Avengers, assemble. I've got a campfire that needs built. Thank you. There we go. Now I can just wait patiently. And now if everything works out, this guy's going to have 20% defense from Papa, 30% attack from Mom, as well as just be 20% faster. I don't know if that impacts me or not, but I would like it to. Run around like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. All right, a complete have muscle head runner and burly body, yes! Now we'll put you into the contraption so you can start eating these souls. Take 16 for the next level? Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, buddy, you're there. What is it, 32 for the next one? Sure enough. That means I basically need to fill up a whole box with these guys again. All right, I want to see this in action. Oh, wait, this is a level 14 lamb. He's still level 5. That's right. Need to power level you first, huh, buddy? Oh. Uh, Oh, hello, that terrifying mammoth. All right, I got Leaf Monk up to level 18, just a bit shy of what its max could be. And I figure if I'm testing out powers, I figure why not test it against a boss? <laughs> I 
looks so silly. Ready, buddy? Let it have it. Just absolute bullet rain down. Okay, I missed like half those shots there. Dude, that was like a third of the boss's HP just drained. And he still gets to regularly attack too. Get it, my little squirrel friend. Get the giant blue serpent. Some lady of the lake. I'm not feeling like she's very ladylike. I'm feeling like I'm getting my face seared off by fire. All right, Leaf Monk, that's enough. She's very wounded. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Nope. Stay in the ball. There we go. 14%, 46%. I love you, Leaf Monk. Okay, but if breeding can make the starting squirrel able to do a third of a boss's health in one ability, what else do you think I can do with it? For now, that's going to be all for me. But if you want to see more power, please leave me a comment letting me know. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see ya.